With problem number 17, it says if a differentiable function is strictly increasing on the real numbers. So the first thing that you have to be able to do is interpret what this means, a differentiable function. And to me, a differentiable function, the easiest word to describe a differentiable function is that it is a smooth curve. Unlike the second two examples where you have what's called a sharp turn somewhere in the graph. So what makes a function differentiable? First of all, it has to be continuous. It can't have any breaks in the curve. And second of all, there can't be any sharp turns in the curve. And third, there can't be any vertical tangents. That means a, where the tangent line would be a vertical line. So assuming that a function is continuous, it will be smooth if there are no sharp turns or vertical tangents. Obviously, it, it could still be smooth if there's a vertical tangent, but we don't consider that to be a differentiable point because the slope of a vertical line is undefined, and a derivative is just a slope of a line at a particular point. So smooth curves are differentiable. Curves with sharp turns or vertical tangents are not. And again, this is assuming that the, the curve is continuous as well. The second thing that we have to understand here is that it is strictly increasing. A curve that is strictly increasing is always going up, never goes down, never levels off. So the first blue curve that I've drawn there is a curve that's strictly increasing. The second one, a, a different type of line, is also strictly increasing. And it could just be a straight line that is always going up, strictly increasing. So we have a differentiable function that is strictly increasing on the real numbers. Which of the following statements about the function's derivative must be true? Remember that a function's derivative is the slope of the line that is tangent to the curve at any particular point, like the two red straight lines that I drew onto the first blue curve there. So the main thing to notice here is that there are two ways that a function can be strictly increasing. It can be increasing in an increasing way, as in the first example, and the second example shows a function that is increasing in a decreasing way. Even though it's increasing, the slopes are less and less positive. The slopes are always positive, but they're less and less positive. And the third type is when the function is increasing in a constant way. So we could be increasing in an increasing way in which the slopes are always positive and they're getting more and they're increasingly positive. We could be increasing in a decreasing way in which the slopes are all positive and yet they are not necessarily increasing, they're actually decreasing. And finally, we have a function that's increasing in a constant way and its slopes stay the same. So any one of those three blue curves there are differentiable functions that are strictly increasing. And so you can see from the answers, answer A says it is always positive and strictly increasing, the derivative that is. That would be like example A. Sorry, that would be like the first type of example, increasing in an increasing way. The, not only is the function going up, but the derivatives are also increasing constantly or continually. But we could also have an example like the second one where it's increasing, it's strictly increasing and differentiable, but the derivative is not necessarily increasing. And that's an example like B. Now B says it is always positive, but it need not be strictly increasing, like the first example. The third example says it need not be always be positive, but it's always strictly increasing. Well, if the function itself is strictly increasing, then its derivative will always be positive. Finally, D says it need not be always be positive. It need not always be strictly increasing. It must be positive. So that answer is no good. Right? So that does it for this problem. And there are some very important calculus concepts and ideas that are embedded here. And we've just gone over a few of them.